You're watching a TKM Adventures Outdoor video. From start to finish, I'm going to show you how I make venison jerky using a propane smoker. Future TKM Adventure Outdoors videos will cover many topics about fishing, hunting, boating, four-wheeling, cooking, and many, many more. Post your comments at the end of the videos or contact me at TK dot miller nine zero at yahoo.com so let's get busy making a batch the recipe will be included at the end of the video in the past I've frozen venison and used it up to a year later without any negative effects of using venison frozen for that long all my packages are marked with ham venison, jerky, hamburger, sausage, so that it's easily recognizable when I decide to take it out and use it. So let's get on with the process. It's always good to use a good sharp knife. I like my fillet knife. One teaspoon of ground ginger. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. One teaspoon of chula hot sauce. One teaspoon of Heinz Worcestershire sauce. Three quarters of a cup of Kiko Man soy sauce. In the steel container I just shake it all up back and forth and trying to mix all the ingredients up as best as possible on the first go around. After thoroughly shaking your mixing container, in it goes into the jar full of venison jerky. As you can see a lot of the ingredients have settled kind of towards the top so I'm going to close this lid and start rotating the container to thoroughly mix it up. All the mixing done in the container jar now it's ready to go into the refrigerator for 24 hours and the next part of the video will show the preparation of getting everything ready to smoke it in the propane smoker. I preheat the smoker for about 10 to 15 minutes while I prepare the venison jerky on the racks. This batch of jerky is going to be made using these types of grill accessories which I find to be very very useful because they clean up very easily and it allows you also to lay more strips of jerky closer together therefore increasing the amount of jerky you cook during each and every setting. The other thing I always do, and this makes for easy cleanup, is I spray these grill grates that uh, the jerky is going to be on. This provides a non-stick surface. But one of the biggest things it does is it makes cleanup easy because 
these can be put in the dishwasher and cleaned and ready for use another time. Properly handling these and keeping them clean, I've found that you can get lots of uses out of these, either using your propane smoker to make jerky or on your outdoor grill for other purposes. Another thing I didn't mention before is that these grates fit perfectly in this smoker that I'm using. Now comes the part where I just basically I'm going to take the jerky out, estimate about how much is going to be on each one, and I just commence to laying it on the grate. I like to kind of smooth it out. It could be close together. As long, I've always felt that as long as there's enough air gap between each piece, it provides enough space to cook all the jerky and without it sticking together. And as you can see, this is just a matter like any anything else you would do. Just laying all the pieces out and continuing to look for different pieces and different sizes because this is actually cut meat. This is not run through a grinder. Doesn't have a lot of additives put in it other than what you saw previously on the chemicals, which requires it to be maintained in a refrigerator until it's gone. And usually, at least with mine anyway, and what I give away, it doesn't usually last more than about a week, if that long. So, as we process through this step, we're going to just jump to the end of this rack and then we'll move to showing you how to put it into the smoker and get the first rack of jerky well on its way to being ready to eat. All right we are finished with putting the venison jerky on the grates. I discovered that I had enough to put on four grates and this is the way the marinade jar looks like after it's all ready. Our next step is to open the smoker and put all this delectable venison in. Okay, here are all the racks in the smoker. Starting its journey into venison jerky. I'll be adding the hickory chips here in just a minute once we go. If you listen closely, you can almost hear the drippings hitting the aluminum pan. Once this is fired up and smoking away, the aroma drifts through the neighborhood. There's the temperature set at about 170 degrees, which should cook this, prepare it, process it, ready to eat in about three hours. On the hour, I come in and check, open it up, take a look at the jerky, see how it is. Along about the two and a half hour mark, I may pull a few pieces off and see how they taste. I usually leave the top of the grill at about a quarter open for air circulation. So, everything's set. All right, this is the completed product of venison jerky smoked my way in a gas propane smoker. Okay, we're going to take a small piece of each rack, put it right there in the middle, and sample this, because I always like to sample a piece off each tray, make sure that it tastes okay for me. And before I give it to anybody else to try. I usually wait 24 hours to see if there's any adverse effect that I may experience, which I never have on anything I've made with venison jerky. Because one of the things I take very good care of and attention to is the processing of the actual meat when the deer is harvested. This meat is 
vacuum seal, cut up and vacuum sealed, and put in a freezer within 48 hours of when it was harvested. In the interim, it is kept in bags with tons of ice on it that does not touch the meat, no water touches the meat, and it's in a drain cooler. And then I just take it out of that and start processing it in the different steaks, pieces, and label of the packages accordingly to what I'm going to use it for. So, let's just start with a sample. And I have a container, and it's just a matter of simply taking them off one at a time and stacking them in there like that. And before you know it, this whole container is going to be almost full with the venison jerky that I've prepared using a gas propane smelter. And this first piece that I have just tasted is very good. So, my grandson, who's leaving for Atlanta tomorrow, is going to take some with him. Hey, thanks for watching. Please comment on the video and let me know if you try my recipe and how it turned out at tk.miller90 at yahoo.com. I'll also send you or attach to your email a copy of the recipe that I've used in this video. Be on the lookout for more upcoming TKM Adventures outdoors videos. In my next video, I'll be using a dehydrator, a different recipe with ground venison strips squeezed through a sausage plunger. Hope to hear from you, and remember, be safe and good hunting.